let's move on and let's talk about cricket. Uh, India versus South Africa is coming up now, and um, we got three uh, three test. And uh, so far, we have played fourteen series against South Africa. South Africa won seven, and India won four. And three tests are three test series are don't, uh, draw. Uh, Pella test first test is is at uh, Centurion, twenty six to thirty eight December Boxing Day test. Then Johannesburg, three to seven January, and Cape Town, like um, uh, John said, rescheduled and everything, eleven to fifteenth Jan. uh john uh, no 14 series seven win for south africa only four win for india and that two in india uh how do you see all this india versus south africa scenario i think if you look at south africa tours uh, it has been uh, one of the difficult uh, uh, places to tour for asian countries as well apart from that sri lanka victory uh, when kushal perera played that majestic knock and, uh, yeah. Uh, that Dale Steen etc. Rather than that, no Asian team has dominated uh, South Africans in their home backyard. So it will be a really tough uh, challenge. If you look at the averages as well, apart from Virat or Sachin or other few guys, no one has cracked. Uh, even Dravid has uh, uh, tough faces in South Africa etc. So uh, that shows that uh, South Africa has been a tough uh, place to tour for Asian countries. Uh, so it will be a big challenge. But uh, if you look at the South African batting unit, it's a little bit fragile. So it all depends on how uh, two teams going to bat uh, in the three match test series because uh, two sides has great fast bowlers like uh, Shami is there, Boomer is there, Siraj is there. Uh, they have Rabada is there, uh, Lungi Nokia. is there, Noke is there, Oliver is there. So they have both the sides has got very good bat bowling unit and the pitches will be around two fifty three hundred. So it all depends on how uh, both of the batters, both of the batters from each team going to perform because India has that fragileness in middle order, sure. uh, which that has in been among runs. Um, if they play a year, a year will be playing their first overseas test test series for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then Pujar has in scored much hundreds etc. So India has the issues and they don't have Rohit as well, who has been the best batsman in 2021. So they'll be missing Rohit. Then if you look at South Africa, South Africa lack experience in batting unit apart from Dean Elgar or uh, either Macram or a few other guys, and they'll be missing uh, D Cock in the second Test match and third Test match as well. So uh, both the teams has issues in batting unit. It all depends on how their batters going to perform in 2018. De Villiers was the difference. Uh, he played some amazing, you no, know, some amazing seventies, eighties, etc., and that made a huge difference. So, who will be that player in the series, and that that team will be winning the series as well. Hundred percent. I completely agree with John over here that you know the batting is going to be the deciding factor uh, among who wins the series. India uh, with India, it's always. recently in the recent years it's always because our bowling has become so good now it's between the batters to do their job now you know and uh, even the last south africa series you remember we uh, lost very close test matches uh, we were almost there but you know there were some mistakes by the selection committee uh, uh, you know dropping certain players but i think it is the same thing now uh, if again uh, johns mentioned you know what fragile middle order uh, just coming to that because uh, just i want to ask your opinion do you think Uh, Ajinkya Rahane is going to go uh, as a starting eleven player in the first Test match. Uh, well, I personally don't because see, uh, you you talked about the last uh, series and the whole uh, you know selection thing. Last series we were debating about Rohit Sharma being in the eleven and Ajinkya Rahane being out being outside the eleven and all. But today I don't really think Ajinkya Rahane should be in the team. I mean, in playing eleven, and I think two team is moving ahead in that direction, like. Uh, first of all they did you know the whole the whole idea behind was like you you cannot drop your vice captain and everything the whole thing was that going on then rohit sharma became the vice captain of test uh, test team rohit sharma is not playing the uh, test series he is not the vice captain but now ajinkya rahane is not there again i think uh, uh, today kl rahul is the uh, kl rahul is, has been appointed as the vice captain right so yeah. i don't really see ajinkya rahane being uh, in the playing eleven since there is hanuma vihari i think hanuma vihari will get the goal john what are your opinions about this ajinkya rahane uh, or cheteshwar pujara do you think anybody needs to be uh, i won't say dropped but you know left out of the team to give uh, opportunity to some young blood maybe hanuman vihari deserves some playing time also uh, first of all i think india should be going with six batters uh, plus rishabh pant 
Uh, I don't think uh, they'll be playing with five batters, Rishabh Pant and play Thakur and Ashwin. Yeah. Uh, I don't think in the first test match, you need to have that protection because yeah. as we mentioned earlier, the middle order is fragile. So if you have someone like Bihari at number six, uh, it will give that extra cushion to uh, uh, Rishabh Pant at number seven. Then Ashwin has improved his batting as well. If they are looking for Ashwin versus Thakur, uh, both of them has been uh, showing their batting capability last one year. So. Ideally, I would go. I would be going with uh, K, uh, KL Mayank uh, Pujara should be playing. Uh, then number four will be Virat. The only issues in that number five uh, spot it will be either Rahane or Ayer. Then number six will be uh, Vihari. Number seven will be Pant. Number eight Ashwin or Thakur, uh, depending on the pitches, uh, yeah. especially Johannesburg uh, used to have that pace, etc. So maybe they might prefer uh, yeah. extra seamer like Thakur. And that is one of the reasons why they have given the uh, vice captaincy spot to uh, KL Rahul as well, because they don't know whether Ashwin will be part of the all three test matches. So it would be either uh, Thakur versus Ashwin, then three fast bowlers with Siraj, Boomra, uh, and Shami. So uh, the issue. Shami or Ramesh, yeah. So, issue will be either we, uh, Ayer or uh, Rahane because uh, if you look at the last uh, test series against New Zealand, Ayer played so well, uh, especially in tough uh, tough uh, phases, etc. He scored that brilliant 100. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it will be really tough to handle that raw pace factor of South Africa. So, it will be a tricky selection uh, with the experience, even though Rahane has been in under par performance. Uh, team might go with that uh, uh, that factor of Rahani in the sports uh, and look for uh, if he is not performing then they can directly drop even I don't think they'll be wait, waiting for that second test match if uh, result is not going in the favor of India in the first test match so, so what is what is your opinion what is what is your preference who do you want at number five would it be Rahane or Shreya Sayer for you would you go for experience or you would go for you know the new blood who's done well and giving give him an you know, overseas tour experience, what would you like? Uh, if Gil was there, I would have preferred Gil, uh, but he is not there. Uh, so, ideally, uh, it's really tough. I I, uh, I have interacted with many people last one week in space, etc. So, uh, it's tough to tell uh, uh, because, as I said earlier, uh, a year uh, has, has performed really well against New Zealand and uh, there is uh, other where, if you look at uh, South African Pacers has a lot more experience and playing the first test match, it might be an issue. And we all know Ayer has uh, that issue against raw pace, uh, that bounce, etc. We have seen in uh, yeah. we have seen in past yeah. as well. Uh, fast Even bowlers the yeah. a lot. So yeah. uh, playing that first test match might be uh, putting lots of pressure, especially uh, in in that inner mind or something. Uh, Ayer will be feeling pressure because there is Rahane sitting in the bench. So that pressure will be coming into uh, a year as well when he bats on. Yeah. Uh, if India is three down for 30 or three down for 40, etc. So there are lots of factors to look forward and there is almost uh, seven, eight days left. Uh, it all depends on how the practice sections goes. So for we sure. need to get yeah. on also, like you mentioned a very uh, fair point that, you know, we should go with uh, six batters plus uh, uh, Rishabh Pan. Because yeah. like we were discussing as well, it was always India's batting who let us down in the, uh, you know, South Africa, South, South African tour, especially. I think uh, that's a, that's the way should, you know, we should yeah. move forward. But and, again, uh, you... uh, I, again, the same question arises, John, that, uh, you know, same thing that happened in England, that Ashwin didn't play either of, you know, any of the test matches. Do you think that is going to happen again? Ashwin is just going to stay on the bench and they would give an opportunity one or to, you know, Thakur or, you know, maybe even now, if not Thakur, they go with Ishant or Umesh in that place. Do you think that's right? I mean, the best, uh, you know, and South African pitches, you get a little bit of, you know, bounce also. Ashwin has good height. He can utilize that to, uh, you know, Dean Elgar, he's so good against, uh, you know, uh, left arm bats, uh, left-handed batsmen. So do you think that would be a call that you would also take? Uh, you know, leaving out Ashwin and playing one of the Pacers or do you want to include Ashwin now? Uh, it all depends on the pitches. Apart from Johannesburg, I believe Ashwin will be playing the uh, rest two test matches. I don't think uh, Ashwin will be sitting in the bench. Mainly if you consider the England series, they had Jadeja. Uh, Jadeja brings that extra cushion of batting, batting as well. Yeah. And, uh, India sent Jadeja at number five uh, in one of the test matches as well. So, India trusts Jadeja as a batsman more 
so that is one of the reasons why ashwin didn't play the series uh, but coming to south africa too there is no ashwin there is no aksha patel as well uh, so i believe ashwin will be playing at least two test matches maybe three as well it all depends on how johannesburg pitch is uh, going to behave if, if it is not that pace uh, uh, then india might play ashwin as well and he might play all the test matches but if it has more pace they might consider thakur in the first test match and play ashwin the next two test matches and ashwin has improved a lot in overseas it's not that ashwin of 2015 or 14 sure. or 16 etc if you look at ashwin was one of the major factors india won in australia sure. uh, when he kept steve smith quiet in first two test matches and that gave that extra boost to yeah. indian team so uh, i believe ashwin ashwin deserves to play but it all depends on the pitches and i believe ashwin will be playing at least two test matches in the series that's a bold call it's a bold and that's a i think yeah it's so we sort of agree at least for dean elgar dean elgar we should get <laughs> we should get ashwin i was just reading some i was just discussing with uh, someone uh, there was some stat in 53 left handers put together only seven only seven left handers ashwin could not you know get get, get them out he is every left hander is a bunny for uh, ashwin i guess yeah true i mean okay uh, john say like you mentioned you already uh, sort of told us your uh, playing 11 uh and you put siraj's name that's what i wanted to ask uh, even shashank uh, even shashank as well you know is it's that time you know we should consider mohammad siraj as our second bowler straight up because so far it's always like bumra shami ishan bumra ishan shami then siraj comes in but whenever whenever we handed him any job he did it very well with some with same intensity in india as well in australia as well wherever we go you know he the, the guy has delivered uh, what do you think jashank let's start with you yeah i mean for me siraj should have moved to you know india's second best uh, you know fast bowler a long time ago i think he should have been the uh, our second bowler in the england tour as well mere hisab se because uh, see again he's he's uh, fiery right now he's at the top of his game and if you don't utilize a player when he's at the top of his game i think that that's a little bit of a crime that we are doing with rituraj gaikwad also i think uh, dilip and circle also pointed that out but i think we should use siraj as because even if you've seen in the ipl the guy pitches wherever you want him to pitch he will pitch the ball if you want six yorkers yorko out of him he'll give you six yorkers you know he's against dead pitches in the new zealand that you know that uh, I, i think was it uh, henry nichols that he got out on yeah. the sh- short ball yeah yes. and i mean i mean he's become a mature bowler also and uh, shami the whole rotation thing i think uh, he should definitely become our you know second lead bowler now jones yes i think uh, siraj deserves to start uh, even i would uh, play him all three formats as well the way he has been performing in ipl uh, he has been the gun bowler for virat in last two seasons uh, even in uh, the pitches like chappo call uh, he bowled his heart out Uh, for rcb so i believe yeah. he should be starting all three formats uh, and coming to test match i think uh, he deserves to start if, uh, the way he performed in australia the way he did well uh, in the england series and in the home conditions as well and if you look at his uh, track record he came through the first class system for hyderabad then india a uh, he did well for india a in the australia series in 2018 etc so uh, the phase has even if people may look at his t20 performance for rcb in 2018 etc uh, but during that time as well he used to do so well uh, in the red ball format and that has converted uh, into the indian team as well so uh, it's uh, it's tough call uh, we need to leave out ishan Uh, mainly he has been one of the best bowlers for india from 2014 100% and the way uh, siraj has been performing uh, he, right now he just have that edge over ishan even though ishan has the experience but uh, the form uh, in the recent times back uh, siraj to play all the test matches uh, if he is fit ahead of ishan yeah i mean great i mean uh, even i feel the same i mean siraj should be in the team and uh, with siraj in the team there is one more question about the pace bowlers uh, from my side which is umesh yadav or mohammad shami i mean like you said you can you know we can uh, leave out uh, ishan sharma for now but umesh yadav this is the same mistake i think we we did in 2018 as well 
we should have played umesh yadav after that you know terrific home season that we all the four test series we played at home umesh did excellent job at home and uh, when it came to you know where he could have been apply himself way much better uh, we we basically didn't play him uh, do you think this is the time where we should uh, go ahead with uh, umesh first and then call for shami or uh, shami or umesh what's your first call don't you want to go no you can go yeah i'm just saying uh, shami na bhi 50 bimari hai so he's uh, you know batting wise also hot but i will start with shami in my team because he's uh, you know he has that experience he has that ball that comes in uh, umesh also has his uh, you know positives that he's just a workhorse you can make him ball you know what uh, 10 15 over spell not give him too much rest he will do that for you but shami has that advantage technical advantage over uh, umesh in my opinion that's my honest opinion but yeah i see umesh coming somewhere into the series in the second test or the third test but i will go with uh, uh, you know uh, shami, shami in the first test yeah john uh, i think shami will be start in the series uh, the way he has been performing he did so well in england as uh, he mentioned yeah. uh with the bat with the ball as well even though he had a uh, average uh, england series in 2018 etc but uh, coming to 2021 uh, he did so well uh, he was one of the best bowlers as well for team india and uh, if you look at uh, umesh track record in overseas he has been bit inconsistent over the years apart from that uh, one test match against england when he got opportunity in 2021 Uh, he was terrific with the line and length uh, he bowled consistently uh, he even got uh, that joe root wicket uh, uh, one of the beautiful balls as well in the series so uh, he has improved uh, but uh, starting i would go with chummy then uh, it all depends on the workload factor the injury issues etc uh, the depth has been uh, really good for india and that is one of the reasons why india won in australia uh, so uh, i believe they'll be starting with uh, siraj chummy bumrah then uh, maybe the second or third test match uh, with the workload factor might play uh, umesh or ishan that might be the way for virat dravid etc for the uh, south africa series just, just to contradict my own point uh, mohammad shami was the highest wicket taker of 2017 18 series uh, along with philander and rabada 15 wickets i think three match series right in uh, south yes. africa 2018 yeah, yeah. yeah. so 15 wickets there uh again <laughs> like continuing to bothers but i want to know you know you guys very opinion very honest opinion what is jayant yadav doing there i mean please <laughs> please explain me this why are we still you know if i mean if you're taking him for the sake you know he scored uh, one century long long time back and you're considering him as an all rounder i mean south africa where the batters like batters like the caliber of you know kohli pujara and all well kohli has played but every other batter struggles there but how, why are we still going there with you know jayant yadav see i mean domestically his form has been good and i think honestly think he's a replacement for ashwin uh, i think if Ash, you know they are planning on using a you know right arm of spinner and if ashwin for example somehow breaks down during the series uh i think jayank the other fills that slot perfectly he can bat a bit as well like ashwin but yeah i do any other name that you have you can give but i don't think there is any any other name that is there in the hat no but again like uh, if jayant yadav is our replacement for ashwin then uh, india needs to you know thoda sa domestic ashwin is anyways the great, one of the greatest spinners It's very difficult to replace him no yeah. mainly if you look at uh, washington sundar so was injured uh, so he yes. came back Uh, in the Vijay Asaya Trophy, so lack of match practice that might be the reason why uh, they consider Jayan the other head of Washington Sundar. Yeah. Uh, mainly Sundar has been part of Indian team uh, for the uh, England Test series at home, then Australia uh, away series etc. But uh, he got injured. He came. He didn't play in the side Mustakali. He came back only through Vijay Asaya. Uh, he bowled well as well, but uh, maybe lack of match practice, and he might return into the Indian team in the Sri Lanka Test series. Uh, because there will be Ranji Trophy starting in January, yeah. uh, so Sundar might be part of the Tamil Nadu squad uh, if he is performing or uh, if he has the match practice etc. I think uh, this might be a last series for Jayendra as well if he is not uh, getting opportunities etc. 
because Sundar will be coming back and he deserves as well uh, the way he batted yeah. in the last in two Australia. series for India Australia. and uh, he will be improving as well. he's just 23, 24 something. So there is a lot of time left uh, for him. So I think mainly because uh, Washington Sundar didn't have that match practice, uh, so they preferred Jain the other and to continue with him. Uh, mainly Akshay Patel is injured, uh, then Jadeja is injured. So there is not much choice as well. There may be Shahdas, Shahbaz Nadim, etc. Uh, but uh, they continue with Jain the other who was part of the New Zealand Test series. Yeah, man. Uh, right, I mean. In a way, it's right. But when I was uh, like, uh, I want to ask you, Johns, because you know, uh, you said you you have interacted with many. Uh, you know, you uh, uh, keeps on talking on in, on cricket on on space and everything. Uh, what do you think? You know, about the BCC and the whole strategy be, uh, behind the uh, selection. Do we do we do we talk a lot about you know experience and uh, sort of uh, ignore the form because uh, we still have we still have uh, Vridhiman Sahai in the team. We can definitely see that he is not the batsman we are definitely we are we are looking at. Do you think that we we played with uh, Shrikar Bharat? We didn't play with uh, uh, play with Shrikar Bharat, but uh, he kept uh, he he kept for the team. And uh, again, Shrikar uh, Shrikar Bharat. Once Vridhiman Sahai came back, Shrikar Bharat went, and now we have Pant and Saha again. Saha at this age, do you think we should be looking at someone else? Or uh, someone like even Srikar Bharat for oh, the sake of uh, conversation. Uh, I think uh, um, they, they might have changed, uh, like given that opportunity to KS Bharat in the second test match. Uh, but um, in the first test match, in the second innings, uh, Saha scored that wider 50. So they didn't have that opportunity to drop Saha and they continued with him. So uh, sometimes that's how the selection policy goes on. Uh, we can't do much. And if you look at even though if anyone comes like uh, KS Bharat or Upendri Yadav or uh, Urtima yep. Saha, anyone comes, the first wicket keeper will be Rishabh Pant. Rishabh Pant. Yeah, true. I don't think uh, there will be any change and uh, unless there is an injury issue. So uh, maybe after uh, the home series, because India will be playing three test matches against uh, uh, South Africa, then two test matches with Sri Lanka. And India does not have that overseas tour as well. Apart from that one test match uh, against uh, England in July, apart from that, all the test matches are in Asia. So yeah. that might be the reason uh, just to uh, go through uh, this cycle with Saha and look for a change, uh, especially there will be transition. Like after the 2023 WTC final, we will be seeing that transition phase uh, most play, players will be getting into that phase of 34, 35. For so sure, for sure. So there will yeah. be the transition phase and that might be uh, the eye for uh, Saha or some other guys who are nearing to that phase. Yeah. Shashank, Shashank must be having a, you know, I think uh, you must be having... I, I um, have, I have, yeah, I have, John's never rated very, Saha very highly as a batsman. So... Uh, you know, I hold uh, him responsible for the 36 not uh, all out as well, uh, you know, in Adelaide. I put every blame on Ridhiman Sahas. I think Indian team would have, uh, should have groomed a second keeper before, uh, you know, know yeah. they, they should have started grooming a second keeper already. Because I don't know how you can, I mean, there is no, uh, you know, debate about Ridhiman Sahas keeping ability. But, uh, you know, foreign tours, I don't think in India, it matters a lot. But in foreign tours, uh, I don't think the sk wicket keeping skills is a huge factor. I mean, of course, it's a factor, but you know, you can have someone like I don't want to say, but you know, you can have a KL Rahul keeping there, or you know, one of the batsmen, maybe Samju Samson's somebody someday, you know, whenever he gets into the team, he can also play, uh, you know, sort of keep for for that position. But I think we should be grooming a second keeper. We should have groomed a second keeper until now, uh, 2023, as John said, that cycle is ending. You know, a lot of players might be. Uh, 34, 35, 36 and Saha will actually be closing to 40 at that time. So I think we should have already looked for a replacement. Yeah, that's my honest opinion. Second, as well. second, second keeper, well, Saha was the second keeper since long time now. Yeah, yeah but we <laughs> have to groom a second keeper as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, that's... Yeah, we'll uh, move that's... to the predictions now of the series. Yeah, definitely. And uh, South Africa, not the, uh, no. South Africa of old, yeah. South Africa of old. Uh, what's your prediction for the series, Johns? Johns, are we finally winning the series in South Africa? 
finally something good happening in virat's captaincy <laughs> i think it will be one each uh, that uh, that that has been the prediction for my uh, in last uh, one or two weeks in the space i had and i have been saying one each mainly because uh, both the teams has the issue with batting and somewhere around we might see collapse of both the teams so uh, one team uh, and i see a draw as well Uh, because if you look at the a games as well it has been high scoring in the few grounds so yeah. we might see a high scoring game somewhere around if pitches are flat etc uh, and uh, in 2018 they had abd villiers and this time they don't have abd villiers yeah. and they have that inexperience factor so uh, either one each or 2 uh, one to india that will be the british i don't see oh, south okay. africa winning the series Yeah, I would have been very confident uh, of India winning the series had we had Rohit Sharma in the team. But since he has pulled out, I think that makes the batting a little, little, you know, uh, susceptible. I, I want to predict a good score line. So uh, you know, I know everybody is going to be cautious, but I'll go the other way. I'll, I'll uh, pick India to win the series three zero. Three zero. Oh, any any reaction on that, Johns? <laughs> any reaction? Anything? Sort of India, we... Never underestimate the Indians, as someone said. Very, yeah. Very. Just in language. Yeah. 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 So for me as well, I mean, uh, I'm going with Johns' other prediction, which is two one for India. I don't see any draw happening there, uh, with the the sort of play with you, uh, like with the sort of game we have these days. Uh, I see two one to India. and uh, let's let's also ask you know johns and shashank both of you uh, top batter and top bowlers from both the sides top batter is this guy top batter is that okay finally finally uh, okay let's not jinx it i'm number, not talking about it number, i'm number not talking 71 about, i'm not coming. talking about See, it if, if if we want to if you want to win this series virat has to perform there is no two ways about it uh virat has to perform so if i'm going th- with 30 i would say our top batsman and our top bowler will be the top batsman and top bowler which is virat and jaspreet bumrah great johns uh i think bowler will be uh, siraj uh, from team india uh, then yeah, batter yeah. i think i have the same answer of virat uh, because if virat is not performing uh, it will be tough for india mainly they don't have uh, rohit Uh, then uh, we don't know how uh, pujara might uh, stay for two hours three hours but uh, that big hundred it will be tough for pujara uh, then uh, rahane or ayer uh, then rishabh pant is there but it's too uh, low for at number 7 we can't expect uh, a gaba or a sidmi again and again uh, in uh, all the series it might happen maybe after three four five series but continuously performing at number 7 is really tough uh, yeah. we can uh, see any uh, wicket keeper performance etc there will be 40 plus average etc so if virat is performing uh, and if virat uh, virat needs to perform without rohit sharma uh, virat need to score around 250 300 runs in the series Easy, yeah. uh, then uh, india can go all the way great man i mean i am i am a big virat fan so virat is anyway in my list but apart from that i also feel uh, not not no, so many runs 250 300 but definitely hanuma vihari is going to save you matches hanuma vihari is going to save you uh, not like going to save you, you collapse why don't you name priyank panchal as well then i don't think he is guys coming in the <laughs> team i mean I, i really don't think so i don't know uh, but yeah and uh, bowlers i think jaspreet bumrah is going to win us a lot of you know sessions yeah So yeah guys thank you it's 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 fun before before we go Johns I want okay. to, I want to ask I want to end this on a controversial note okay I want <laughs> to ask you and you may choose to not answer this okay who do you think uh, uh, you know is speaking the truth is it uh, Virat or is it uh, Saro Ganguly <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> do you want to keep quiet <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. mainly because if you look at journalists as well, uh, they have been two parts. Uh, one day, some of the journalists told that BCC has that record, etc. Mainly because they used to record this thing, and in next day they told that uh, record was in functioning and there is no record of this thing. So uh, only Ganguly and Virat, uh, Virat and that's why the writers only knows this answer. We need to wait and watch. I don't think uh, any action will be going to take right now. Uh, but we will see after a few weeks uh, the things won't be closing down i don't think 
especially an indian captain versus bcc i don't think it has happened anywhere in cricket world maybe in other sports i don't know but uh, in cricket in indian cricket especially an indian captain versus bcc or an indian captain versus bcc president yeah uh, somebody think. i think indian captains have i think had their problems with bcc before but nobody has taken on the bcc as uh, virat kohli has I, you know that less less said the better but gut in- gut instinct wise johns who you, who do you think is lying or who do you think is telling the truth <laughs> okay we'll wait 5 Four, <laughs> two, three, two. Okay, Johns is not. Johns is not answering. That's that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Ah, uh, so I think uh, we should wrap. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah, Johns. Uh, uh, great talking to you. Uh, we look forward to many more, you know, uh, podcasts with you. We'll uh, love to talk about cricket, and uh, I'll be uh, calling you again and again. I hope if you're free, if you're free, we can you can we can meet again. Yeah. Ah, uh, thank you, uh, Shashank, as well. Ah. Uh, Uh, any last word johns or shank yeah the... 30 india that's it <laughs> okay how how how's your experience johns on the sports republic uh, it, it has been great uh, i would say i have been doing this uh, video after a long time i think i did uh, two months back before the world cup etc and they had there was a long gap between due to the some social media works etc so uh, it has been a big change uh, in last two months so i would like to come in this youtube channel again again, again as well uh, it's a great pleasure so whoever watching this video uh, do subscribe this channel uh, and and uh, promote everything uh, comes under there will be lots of videos and there will be lots of analysis works based on cricket so uh, make this uh, channel a huge success as well thanks john thanks for thank, your thanks thanks john uh, well sort of john's did my job So that's what I was gonna. That's what I was gonna say. But like John said, please do subscribe to the Sports Republic. Uh, we come up with a lot of stuff. It's not just cricket. We talk about F1. Uh, uh, we talk about NBA every Sunday, and uh, there's a, a weekly sports news as well, where we cover all the Indian sports as well. So yeah, do subscribe and uh, press the bell icon so that you will not uh, miss any video. Uh, once again, thanks, John. Thanks, uh, thanks, Shashank. Uh, we'll see you soon uh, in the. in a, in the in the coming videos and uh, thank you so much for watching guys